Sir, can I have another cup of evil? <laughs> I'm back for another drunk reaction, and today I'm drinking Fireball as I offer them. And we are back for episode 8 of season 3 of Cobra Kai. Man, I've been mean, getting killed with the fucking feedback lately, man. Uh, the comments not so much last time, but downvotes, man. Motherfuckers be downvoting the fuck out of me. <laughs> it's just, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I think people are just irritated that I'm like, fuck Dimitri. <laughs> Dimitri stands are like, man, take this L. <laughs> eh, what are you going to do? You know. Um, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and end this long nightmare for us. Um, next week, I'm going to go ahead and finish the final two episodes. I'm not going to drag it out an extra week. I'll do it. The last two episodes, is a, a, it'll be separate videos, but as a uh, big finale. Because it's almost over anyway, and people keep trying to spoil me on, like, what's going to happen. Like, you know, two different people I've talked to in the past week have been like, yeah, and then the end of season three, I'm like, shut the fuck up. Because I've been watching these week by week, because I want to, this is the one show that I'm not doing, like, you know, early access on Patreon, because there just wasn't enough episodes left to do that with. So, since I'm not doing early access, there's no reason to watch, like, six episodes ahead, right? So, I, and this allows me to uh, react to the feedback every week, which has been kind of fun, actually. You know, there's been a lot of interesting feedback as we've progressed and moved through the season and everything. So, but because I'm watching week to week, I'm like, it's been eight weeks since this shit came out. I can't expect people to not spoil me at this point. Like, that's a long fucking time to not watch a show that you actually give a shit about. That's my rule. If you give a shit about it, you're going to watch it in the first week, unless you're doing shit like me, right? If you don't give a shit about it, then you can't be mad you got spoiled. It's, it's, it's really like a either or gate, you know? Like if you remember your basic program back, way back in the day, you know, either or. It's one or the other. There's 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 no other option, right? I'm the other option. I'm, there's a business reason why I'm doing it this way. I like to be able to react to feedback in real time instead of waiting three episodes. Oh, yeah, three episodes ago you said this. Fuck that. Yeah. Um, but that's why I'm going to just next week, I'm just going to watch the, the final two episodes and, and, and just be done with it because my friends be trying to spoil me. Nerd Soup's about to come out with their video re review in season three. I'm very intrigued by what they might think about it. So it's time to put an end to this. So that's the real reason. It's not the down votes. <laughs> it's just because my friends keep trying to spoil me. I don't want to spoil. I would have hated to have been spoiled by the finale of either of the last two episodes in the last two seasons, especially like Miguel being hurt. I would have been pissed if somebody had spoiled me on this shit. So. Um, we're going to wrap this up next week. That'll be fun. But before that, we got to get to this week. So let's go ahead and do this shit. I know it's been a while since our last class. Yeah, my wife has finally After let me do this again. After the fight at school, I work together. But always remember... Oh, she's going to monitor him. Okay. That's why she's letting him do this shit. Is to show the she's world gotta... you're not a bunch of pansy-ass okay, cool. nerds. <laughs> you're to show them that you're tough. They're the weakest six people in the shit. entire school, man. This is bad. They're the ones that do this shit. This is very, very bad. Okay. Just don't forget. The five weakest. Miguel's not weak. Your goal is to win at all costs. I called Those this shit last season, be man. Before this season ever dropped, I called this. Three dojos. Our enemies was, are attacking us from inevitable. all sides. It was the time to show them forgiveness. <laughs> this is great editing. Miyagi used to say, if you're looking for revenge, you could start by digging two graves. Yeah, everybody says that. They said that shit for your eyes only, way before Karate Kid came out. Yeah, this is great. You gotta swoop down like an eagle. Your name sucks. Grab them with your claws and sink your fangs. Don't try to make this name happen, it sucks. Do I make myself clear? <laughs> 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 Fantastic. I noticed I showed Miguel's the only one from uh, Johnny's Dojo we give a shit about. Wait, is Robbie finally getting the fuck out of jail? Jesus. Everyone's problem. You two got to team up, man. I'm going to have to be the one that's going to clean up your mess. Jesus. I clean up my own messes. Both of you. Go to hell. Stay out of my life. I'm joining Crease. Fuck all y'all. Run. <laughs> Run. Man, they both showed up for nothing. Give me that gas money back. Oh, shit. Oh, their feelings are hurt. Both of them. They're acting all tough, but their feelings are both hurt. Damn. Really? Sorry. I'm Holy shit. What's up, Sam? That was disrespectful as hell. They're not my friends anymore. Yeah, say it a little bit louder, too. Not after what they did to you guys. She liked that. Uh, actually, headed that way, too. Real. 
Can you carry my <laughs> books? I know it's the guy supposed to carry the books, but I'm hurt, man. Carry my books. So, first to be friends again? Or start over? Start over? Hi. Sam. Nice to meet you. <laughs> no, see. Damn, look at what's happening back there. Holy <laughs> shit. God damn. <laughs> Fuck Dimitri. <laughs> I already know what's coming. <laughs> uh, what I was going to say was, he talked about be friends or start over. Start over means, you know what it does. I ever date this freak? Yeah, all right, Cordelia. Whatever, Cruella. Why don't you go kill a bunch of Dalmatians? Nice try. Blood conquers all. Yeah, he's in there. Because <laughs> Rob is going to show up being an asshole. Take it easy, Sensei. Stick close like that. They should know this stuff by hey, now. Hey, don't be micromanaging me, goddammit. You know, it's my fault they're in this position. I don't need you looking over my shoulder. One day they may find Should I put my nuts in your purse? And they're going to need these <laughs> And other toxic shit. <laughs> okay, so Look at this. Yeah. Hey, Ron. Who the Why fuck are you? Are you? Our board meetings at the rec center when you have the enchanted tiki room out here. That's racist. Still months away. Who is this asshole? Is there a problem with the committee? There's a problem with the whole tournament. Yeah. We're not letting you motherfuckers do this bullshit. We're canceling shit, so we're going to have to hold our own tournament. Just these three dojos. Fuck the rest of them. Since Hill Valley can do a tournament, we're going to do our own tournament. All right, Diaz, you're up. Yeah, Diaz can't do shit, man. He's fucked up. Imagine this is the guy I stole his frisbee from. Right, just <laughs> the white He's such a fucking dick. Yeah, he can't do shit. All right, good hustle. Uh, next? While he right, fails. No, it's fine. While he fails, Nerd Soup mentioned the Giant Lawrence is her favorite character. I'm kind of with that. Even though, I mean, obviously this, is, this show is centered around him. So he's supposed to be your favorite character. But some people are probably still Daniel stands, you know? But He has, oh, don't be a dick. All right, everybody, take five. Go get some water. But not from the fountain. I saw some meth head wipe his ass in it. Damn. What are they supposed to do? Drink out of the lake? They did what? They canceled it. Let's go kick their ass. Wait a minute, that's a bad message. It's, it's an overcorrection. God damn, she's hovering over him, man. Holy he shit, she's ever. Oh, she's bringing him a drink. Okay. As a sponsor. I really need to turn my toxic, toxicity down. <laughs> There's one person that can convince the city to overturn their decision. It's Johnny Lawrence. It's a two time champ. Johnny Lawrence. I gotta go talk to the rest of the board. Yeah, thanks for the drink. I'll take one little pity sip out of it. Good. Then you can have this shit back. Grow your own lemons? It's crystal light. <laughs> <laughs> Like I said, one pity sip and you could have it back. Thanks for nothing. Maybe on some level this is for the best. Yeah, I actually agree. In real life, there's no way they would have this tournament. To put their violence on this play, right? You're not actually going to let them cancel the All Valley Tournament, right? <laughs> I don't know. If the tournament gets canceled, that sends a message to the whole Valley that we're the bad guys. We can't let that happen. So beating Cobra Kai's ass in front of everybody, that's going to change the image? Makes no sense. I mean, I'm going to go with it for dramatic purposes, but in real life, they would totally cancel that shit and not feel bad about it. Well, it's not like you're even going to fight anyway. Damn. Of course I was for your own safety. I thought safety was for pussy. Yeah, what's up, bitch? You don't think I can do it. What do you think's going to happen in a real fight? Damn. Look, you already proved you can win. And I need to prove it again. Yeah, <laughs> Miguel's a real one, man. <laughs> He's a real one. I see both I sides. Be on my side. Oh, you heard his feelings again, dick. Yeah, see, she saw that. She knows his best interest is at heart. Yeah, he's back in there. <laughs> oh, shit. Maybe these two should look up. They're both evil. Oh, wait, he hates her. Never mind. They'll send you straight back to Juby. Yeah. <laughs> Why, are you afraid of him? Damn, she's afraid of him. She's got to... Take, she's got to let the police protect her. It's you for starting the fight. And you for finishing it. <laughs> she should like that eye of the tiger. It's not fair, you know. Kiss him, you fool. Everyone else got to go back to normal, but here we are eating shit. Like I said, they can relate. What's up? Sam is a good person. Yeah. She's sure acts <laughs> like Go, girl. Just wait. She'll turn on you. Just like Miguel. You don't know what you're talking about. And why are we both here? <laughs> At least I know who I am. You're still pretending to be something. Else. I'm, I'm feeling the sexual tension, man. <laughs> but I love the fact that. Oh, wait. Um, what so you she's saying? a home wife. Just check off stable. Thanks. They don't care. Never come to check. Excellent. 
<laughs> I like the fact that she's like, police, police, which is essentially what she was saying. It's like, go ahead, they'll send you back to Jimmy. She's using the establishment to protect her ass because she don't think she could beat him. I actually think she could. I think she'd mop the floor, but she didn't need to do that. That shows an internal weakness. He's a teenager. He's happy with you all the time. You're doing something wrong. Pretty much, yeah. You're being too super permissive. That's actually a good point. I heard about the tournament. Yeah, who needs it anyway? You too. Damn. Everybody's... The two sensei are against the fucking tournament, and everybody else is, like, for it. Maybe we should trust the senseis. I'm just saying, Beth. I blamed you. Yeah, you did. That was very hurtful. What are you doing here? Fighting for the All Valley. What about you? You gotta read from your diary? I'm being prepared. Yeah, I don't need notes. He, he, I was going to say fly by seat of his pants. Same diff. It's going to be a disaster. <laughs> okay, Fantastic. Next. Grade 18 karate tournament. Who, Who wants their ass kicked in the parking lot? Raise your hand. No, nobody? Okay, then you better put this shit back on. Look at Crease. I didn't even see him there. That's excellent. So the violence perpetrated by dojos like Miyagi do. Uh oh. Shots fired. I apologize, Councilwoman Roberts, but this man. Council person. Oh, look at this bumper. He plays that game, boy. He plays that game. <laughs> Please continue. You fucking flaming ass. I think cricket. my colleagues here would agree with the real one. It's hard out there. Look at his voice gets all soft and shit. He is shucking and jiving, boy. Roberts, I'm shucking and jiving. Sit your ass down, no Daniel. Goods. Let the huckster speak first. It's his turn. Fuck. Spit that thing, Miguel. I want the tournament to continue. Uh, we are very happy for the recovery. <laughs> yeah, but you're an idiot. Sit down. But I'm afraid you don't understand. Yes, he does. Jesus, the man. Ones getting hurt? This is like Perry Mason. Everyone's fighting. Boy, the next person that stands up is getting the death sentence. <laughs> Who's going to jump up next? A swirly. You don't want to know. When you uh, dunk someone's head in the toilet and flush <laughs> <laughs> the expert should know. Ass. Sit your ass down. <laughs> like I said, I guess he gets the death sentence. Dumbass. <laughs> if it wasn't for my sensei. Yeah, uh, he's talking about me. He's talking about me. <laughs> we need to show the boys of the world that we're not afraid. So we can stomp them out in front of everybody. Because it's forever, and we deserve that chance. I, uh, not me though. I can't fight. I suck. <laughs> Still denied. To be honest, I don't get the Valley's fascination. <laughs> so, denied. We need to sign waivers stating that the city is not uh, yeah, yeah, the waivers are very important, aren't they? Then, it's officially back on. Damn, I'm going to have to be predicting who's going to win, man. That's going to be a tough one because we've got people on all sides we like, right? I know who's going to lose, though. I guess we all got what we want. <laughs> <laughs> well, be careful what you wish for. You goddamn right. <laughs> he's the best saint since Thanos, man. God, he's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I guess I, I almost missed the subtext there. Miguel forgives him, you know? I mean, they hadn't really talked. Maybe the mom behind the scenes, you know, not shown on screen, talked to Miguel and said, why don't you lighten up, you fucking asshole? Or maybe it was just the fact that, like, he was out there fighting for the tournament. That was enough. So these two are going to be in the final, right? And she's going to be scared of hurting him. So he's going to kick her ass. I'm into it. Oh, well, I think somebody evil is going to have to be in the final. She, of course, is going to have to kick Tori's ass. Well, I don't want to do the predictions yet, but, man, this, there's a lot of interesting possibilities. Damn. Okay. The fuck are you going to do? Break his spine again? Is sex karate a thing? Because it might get ready to be a thing. Oh shit. Should have known. Well, this rivalry's back on. Did you two get together the second I was gone and wait a week to make it look good? Fuck off. It's not like that. He was with their first dumbass. So you really fucking che you cheated on Miguel, motherfucker. I don't think I will. <laughs> That's right, bitch. <laughs> Yeah, she will kick your ass, bitch. Robbie! Motherfucker gonna swing on somebody who's still in recovery. Fuck you. 
That's right. I said, fuck Robbie. <laughs> here comes some more dislikes. <laughs> oh, here he goes. Dude, you sent back three words. You suck. I hope she never writes you again. Hey, Tony. Well, this is a booty call, late. isn't it? <laughs> it's never too late for a booty call. Oh, I thought you knew. Yeah. This motherfucker's holding a beer and he's offering me. juice. You gotta be she fucking shitting me. Sleeve saying what needed to There's be no said. way I just saw heard that. Well, the rock music's coming, so I can't just play the audio, but like, holy shit, not again, not this TV again! God damn, how does Johnny get so much fucking money, man? That motherfucker's dead lost about $6,000 worth of TV so far. Holy shit. Oh shit, now he's gonna be Cobra Kai. Sensei Chris? I like how this all comes back around. Loyalty is going around and around and around. Can I be evil, Chris? <laughs> Sir, can I have another cup of evil? <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, man, this is going to be a great finale. You guys have probably never even heard of Jack L. Chalker. Wonderful science fiction writer. Dude was obsessed with body changing and shit like that. You know, so uh, be aware of that. I mean, I'm not just talking about boy into girl, girl into boy. I'm talking about man, man into fucking alien, you know? He'll turn your ass into a fucking fish or you know, a bird or y any kind of shit, right? But my favorite uh, series of novels of him is uh, called uh, 90 Trillion Faust or something like that. I forget. That was one of the three novels. He, he, he really dealt in trilogies a lot. But he, had, he started out, he had three factions. There's three sets of aliens. And they control the universe, right? And so they're all competing with each other. And what he does is he's got a, uh, basically it's a, a group, you know, four or five people in each in each of those uh, clans. Typically, you'd have four or five people, you know, a group would be one of the clans and you would hate the other two clans because there's nobody you're following you like, right? What he did in this one, you had a group in this clan, a group in this clan, and a group in this clan. Uh, you can't see it. Like, imagine this, I have a third hand in the middle, right? Okay. So you got the three groups, right? So each alien clan had a group that you follow. Like, there would be a chapter on each one of them. A chapter, 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 and then you go back to the first one. Chapter, chapter, chapter. Kind of like Game of Thrones did, where you have the different people in different factions. But So you're rooting for people in all three alien clans. Because you're following them throughout the, uh, the three novels, right? And then a couple people would die from each clan. And so when we get to the end, to get to the climax, the three, what's left of the three uh, groups, they have to band together to fight the big bad. You know, it was fascinating because I've never really been, in, you know, before that I'd never really read a story where you're rooting for all sides. Even though they're all opposed to each other, they have diametrically opposed viewpoints and, and goals. And they are fighting each other, competing against each other. But because you spent so much time with each group, you like all three groups. So when they're fighting each other, like, no, don't kill him, but don't kill him, right? You know, that I fucking love that so much. That's what they've done here. They're masterfully done here. Uh, the problem, the, the biggest problem they have is uh, Hawk is an asshole, Tori is an asshole, and Robbie has pretty much been an asshole. So you've got all the hassles on Cobra Kai. You don't, what you want to do is you want to have people you like on all three groups. So then you don't know who the hell you're rooting for and who the hell you want to win. The drag is coming in with Danny, but you've got Braun. You like Danny, but you like Braun. So when they fight each other, you don't want either one to die. Like That's the best fucking drama that you can get. That's a, that's a top level shit. When Luke's fighting Vader, you're rooting for one side. But what if you like both sides? Like so, that's why I think they've done so well here. Is that you're just you're you've got the two JoJo's you're rooting for for sure, Miyagi and I'm not saying Johnny's JoJo name because it's fucking stupid. I just wish they'd done a better job. They have kind of humanized Tori Lai. She's a complex person, you know. Um, and I just realized that like the, her conversation with Robbie just at this second I remember back to because you know there's so much going on. Her conversation with Robbie. Kind of is probably the reason why, well, you know, Tori's with uh, uh, Cobra Kai, so I should go there. I, they're probably hoping that we're still going to kind of root for Robbie. We can kind of see his point of view. We see where he's coming from. My problem is Miyagi was dating Sam first. Miyagi. Miguel was dating Sam first, right? So he, Robbie dated her second. So she, he can't be, he can't say, oh, uh, you're cheating on me with Miguel because Miguel was with her first. And it's not an ownership thing. I'm just saying that. He kind of swooped in there uh, and got her on the rebound. So then you can't complain about him getting her on the rebound, right? I'm, I'm just saying that. It, it weakens this case. But, so I, I wish they had done a better job of, of making us, they've done a good job. I'm not saying they've done a bad job of making us, like, at least understand, Tori, where she's coming from. Hawk's kind of irredeemable. 
Look, I don't like what Dimitri did to him, and Dimitri's still a dick, and it's still fucked Dimitri, but Hawks here redeemable for the shit he's been doing. There, there, there's nothing to root for there. Tori at least has shit in Newsom. They, they made us feel bad about her family. She's in a shitty situation. She's in probation. You know, they've done a good job with Robbie. Like, you know, he's been getting fucking terrorized and beat up and all this shit. So, good job, not great job. I, they could have done a better job is what I'm saying. But anyway, point is, I feel like we still kind of got three groups we can root for. I love that shit. I really love it. Two's good, three's better. So, it's going to be a great fucking finale. Like I said, both episodes will drop next Wednesday. So, can't wait for all that.